All right, guys, we're going to go through the uh, standpipe bags real quick. Just go through the components there so everyone's on the same page. All of the Stanford Fire Department standpipe high-rise bags should now have uh, the same equipment inside. Uh, first and foremost, this is the new valve. Uh, this is a Kochek Co AWG valve, uh, two and a half inch ga gated valve. Should be in all the bags. We also have a two and a half inch inline. It's an Elkhart lightweight uh, pressure gauge. And you have a two and a half inch Elkhart lightweight 30 degree elbow. Uh, also note with the elbow is there is a drain on this. You should make sure the drain is closed. Uh, if you ever were to hook up and you had a lot of water leaking from here, besides checking for the gasket, make sure that drain, that drain was not left open. Going through the bag too, two and a half by one and a half bell style reducer. This should be in the bag and not set up to the hose. Okay, this should be stored in the bag. We have an inch and a half thread lightweight nozzle. This is not a fire attack nozzle. This nozzle is used for ventilation and overhaul purposes only. Uh, we have a pipe wrench. These pipe wrench, uh, traditional pipe wrench, we did just order. We're going to be upgrading to a lighter weight uh, pipe wrench, aluminum style pipe wrench, which should be here shortly. Help reduce some of the weight. Also, keep them going through the bag. Uh, small set of vice grips for, for working a wheel. A couple spanner wrenches. And we do have two spare house control wheels. And also in the side pockets of the bag, a short piece of rope. And we have these new plastic wire ties that can be used for, for setting and tying off your control valve if there's any concern with the control valve. Just watch what's in the bags. Uh, we've done our best to try to reduce weight, spend a little bit more money for the lighter weight appliances. I do recognize that it does all add weight as we add, add, add uh, components, but also just watch carrying too much and any artifact, any unnecessary stuff, make sure it's not stored in your bags. Try to keep your systems only what you need to build your sy system and uh, try to keep your bags uh, clean of any unnecessary equipment. Okay, so we're going to go over the uh, standpipe hookup procedure. We have Kevin here on the uh, control position. Uh, we also dropped the bag off him. We're going to lay out some uh, equipment that we're going to use. Okay, we got our we got our gauge. We got our elbow. We got our single gate, and we got our uh, reducer. So he's going to check the outlet here. Make sure he doesn't have a restrictor in there. Cap is missing, so somebody could have jammed a beer can or something up there. Uh, it's clear. So in this case, we're going to put the uh, get our, our elbow on there. We don't always need it, but uh, it's an adjunct to most operations, especially in the cabinet. So you're going to put that on there. Now, we're going to flush this, but we're going to put the gate on it. Because if we have a problem with the valve, when we get it open once, there's no guarantee we're going to be able to close it and get it open again. So we're going to have this thing set to go. When it opens up the angle valve on the standpipe, it's going to stay open. Wash it with this valve and get any debris out of it. Now we're going to work on getting that open. The valve's working nice and easy, so this is the drill bill. So, uh, in a drill bill, this things work real good. In a housing project, it's uh, 70 years old, not so good. So we're going to flush. Okay. So in this case, we flushed out the standpipe. If it's a dry standpipe, we'll get a lot of air out of it before we get water. It clears the system out. So now we have the gauge on there. We're going to do our hookup. We're putting a reducer on it. Two and a half inch and a half reducer. If it happens to be pre-connected on the end of the line, it should be in the bag, but it happens to be pre-connected at the end of the line, this type can be swiveled. Some don't. And if it doesn't have a swivel on, you're going to take it off and set it on. So now he's going to flake out whatever he can and wait for, wait for the officer to call for water. Thank you. 
pointing up the to charge that line. Right there. What's our uh, what's our pressure here? One forty. 